party at the terrace at Evergreen Landing floor plan, another alley style home. That's uh, perhaps under contract now, but I've been told I could walk through it. Who knows if it always sticks together or not. Okay, so this one has um, eight foot ceilings and kind of a combination of kitchen, living area or dining area, and uh, more of the uh, living area in the entry. Lots of windows, so it's very light and bright inside. Um, like the other alley style home, this one has the partial backsplash and electric cooking versus gas, which the cottage style homes have. The cottage style homes are the ones with the garage in the front versus the garage in the back. This floor plan has the laundry on the main level and it's kind of a laundry slash mudroom coming in from the garage, which is a two car garage at the back of the home. There's, these houses come with a heat pump, a hot water heater, which is super efficient. This one has a little countertop space here, which is really nice. Let's see if I can turn off the light. Okay, then we have the, here I am today, my very casual attire, not meeting any clients. So this is a half bathroom with a funny little closet inside. I don't know if this is how they always do it, but maybe that is for this floor plan how they do it. So this is the, what I call the funny little closet is the closet that accesses to the crawl space. There's a little hatch here with a handle to go into the crawl space. It's kind of an odd place to have it, but that's how they did it in this floor plan, that it's actually inside the half bathroom to access. These homes are smart homes with, um, you can kind of see where it says DR Horton, and these are a, kind of a tablet on the wall for you to control the thermostat, and it also tells you when people open the front door, back door, that kind of thing. There's also a closet here, which probably is a coat closet, yep. That's the coat closet for when people come in, whether it's from the garage or the front of the house. There's a lot of recessed lighting in the house, so there's one light bulb there. Some people would choose to make this an open stair railing, but the builder doesn't do that. You would have to do that after the fact with a contractor. We've done that before, and it makes the room feel more expansive and um, more open. And then we would also make this part open as well. We did that on another Dio Herden house. There's some windows over the top of the stairs to let in light. This is the master bedroom. It has a like a kind of a double closet here. Which probably goes through. Yes, it goes through. And then the view out the front. Looking at the houses across the street that are in various stages of construction. The builder does include all the front yard landscaping with grass and specimen plants. They maintain the HOA, sorry, they maintain the front yard landscaping as part of your HOA dues here, um, but you need to water it. But they do mow the grass for you and trim the plants, that kind of thing. So the master bathroom has LVT flooring, for mica countertops, a step-in shower, and a toilet. This floor plan is a bit smaller, so it doesn't have the sec separate toilet room. Okay. No loft on this one either. I think this is one of their smaller floor plans. Um, so here's another bedroom. It definitely works. It's not like massive or anything, but it's a good size room. And there's a closet with bifold doors, attic access, which they would cover with the hatch, and then the opening window here. 
This is a linen closet. A very oversized linen closet. It's kind of extra deep. Room for more shelving. You could even make the shelving extended. Here's the kid bathroom upstairs with the LVT flooring for my countertops. They don't come with like a, a glass shower enclosure. You can add one, but the rod is fixed. So that's a good thing. Then here's another bedroom at the back of the house. The view out the back. So you can see that the homes that have, they extend all the way back like that taupe house there. That's the larger of the alley style plans. And then they have these other ones like the one we're in where the house is kind of cut short before the edge of the roof. They have many, many different uh, color schemes in the neighborhood to try to keep it looking different and visually interesting. Not like four colors only and where they're really super unexciting uh, with their choices. So that is this one. Definitely a lot of house for the money. And whether you were, if you were to consider to buy in this location, um, to get a house in this location that's new, you're paying almost the same price per square foot as, as if you got a used house that was a one level home with a bigger lot. And a lot of people prefer new because it should be low maintenance for like 10 years and something you can just kind of move into and enjoy without having to do a bunch of fix up with old house issues, which would include uh, siding repair slash replacing all the siding, new furnace, new hot water heater, new air conditioning, um, looking at, you know, repainting all the, the house and new flooring and stuff. So with these houses, you're kind of all set um, with a nice solid house that's uh, well-priced. Okay, that's, that's it. it, concludes the tour of this home.